Good look, Mallory. Good look. I haven't seen you in a while, really. Don't tend to watch you very often, but good look. The hair looks just spot on natural. And like you just flew out of bed. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, you know, there was a lot of talk about you recently, Mallory. And, you know, just like what's going on with you and Marissa. And it seems to be that you're just, you're just, you're a cold hearted bitch. You're just able, you're one of those people that um, lack the empathy to feel at all for anybody. You, uh, you called, I guess, Marissa one time uh, to tell her that you didn't want to be a part of heels on the ground when you could have, you could have waited. You act like that one call was something that was just, you know, going to change everything when we heard about it. That's nothing. You're nothing but the most greedy person I've ever seen on YouTube. The most greedy person I've ever um, seen. And, you know, very selfish as well. What I wanted to say is I was just listening to you ask, you're asking in this video to take to help in taking Marissa's channel down. So now you're now calling to take Marissa's channel down when she is the only reason, the only, get it straight now, the only reason that you have a successful channel right now. Nothing you were doing was making it. For years and years and years, the only little success you've had along the way was when you paired up with Marissa this time and last time. And nothing ever lasts with you because you will feel slighted down the line. Who knows if it's a month, if it's six months, just depends on if the money keeps on pouring in at a steady rate, never to decrease. Then I suppose you just would stay, you know, fat and happy all the time if, if that kept on happening because you're all about the money and that's it. And remember, it is just Marissa. You have been on here for nine years. Yes, you have you have tried to be successful for nine years and nobody knows you. That's why it was easy for you to slip by in the DC and Boyd or where have you because you were never really part of anything. You would leave everything before anything happened. And then you would reinvent your whole channel, come back with a different name. Every single time your channel had a different name, you'd come back with a new idea. This last time you were throwing everything at it. What did you do? Like you pretended that you were some clairvoyant. I don't know, was that for comic relief? Then you like pretended that you were some, just this empath, whatever you were doing there. I would only like see parts on, on clip channels. That's, that's funny. Um, but you would, you would do that. And you know, I, this most recent trip that you had such a problem with out to Marissa's house, what I don't understand is that to have polite manners, Mallory, yes, you did bring her um, a nice box of chocolates um, when you saw her before, of which you videoed. If you didn't video it, there would never be uh, a gift like that. That's why we didn't see a video of anything you brought this time because you didn't bring anything. You didn't add anything um, at all, which you should have done this time. You're going there to stay at the woman's house and you were flooded with with um, cash, which is, I am all for anybody making a living on there, especially in this time, everybody's having a hard time, no shame in any of that. However, it just looked so miserly to sit there and squeeze onto your wallet and you, whatever the reason was for Marissa not to do it, 
Whatever the reason was, maybe she felt slighted about something, maybe it was a message to something, maybe it was that she just forgot, maybe it was whatever, but to not see the grand scope of things that you're staying in her place and you've been flooded with money, of which they are saying, you know, buy a meal and have this and and I, I assure you, we could find 120 that came through on your cash app that said at least that, you know, for a meal or something. I guarantee you go through that time and you could find that much that wasn't given. And I guarantee you probably for Gina, there was more than that $100 that you went through to her. But that's like being so petterly, petty and miserly. That's you not being able to see the bigger picture, my friend. So you don't think bigger, just like you were, I listened to you talk about the wealth of Marissa and I, I thought it was being trolled for a second. I, I really did. I thought I was being trolled. I'm like, this, is she kidding? She's, she's just throwing shade, but I think you really mean it. I think that you, I think that you mean that you think you have as much as her, not that it matters at all, but Maybe because you've never lived in the world where people have, you know, retirements, pensions, annuities, dividends, stocks, every single way that you can, hedge funds, every single way that you can think of that rich people invest their money, which is what they're doing. He's bringing an income in of a lot of different sources and so is she. And it's laughable that you're looking so superficial. It's like you are the person that would get mad at the boss in a factory for working you harder and not seeing the bigger picture of how far back it goes to the owner, to the to the, to the shareholders. You just not, you're, you, I guess you don't give it because I guess you never lived it, so you don't know. Also, um, I'm glad that you have a really positive opinion upon yourself. That's really good. Yours is borderline delusional. It's delusional. It's, it's, it's delusional. I think you have to be trolling us. You, there's no way possible. I know that you've read from the book of, of how to, you know, control the people and make the money and whatever that book's called. Well, I have that too. I know that you, you're taking all the tactics of manipulation from that and you're playing all the games. So by if you say it enough, it becomes true to the masses, yada, yada, yada. I get that. But like your, your video of, of, the, of the house in Florida, the streaming house was like the video of the year, the, the viral video of the year. And this right now, you're, I even forgot where you went, Memphis is going to be the biggest story of the year. Do you do you really in with a straight face can you say that you actually believe that or that you're the that your 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 humor which is so dated. Nobody does that archaic racial stereotypes in the way that you do them. What I am looking for Mallory, so if anybody has this is I didn't do anything I know that with it at the time because you were friends with um, Marissa and I don't want to stir the waters. I mean, it's I, I, I liked where I was and just don't want to do that. But now it brings it up where I could say something because I am Jewish, proudly Jewish. And um, I heard you drunk uh, the day that the Idaho killer was arrested. Uh, Brian, I believe is his name, right? And, um, when there's, uh, anyways, you were drinking your big gulpy thing of, I don't know, box wine at like eight in the morning, but you were having the, and you were live streaming and uh, the picture of uh, the killer was going to come across the screen and you were showing it and you're like, uh-huh, there's that Howard Stern face, uh-huh, there's that Jew nose, uh-huh, I knew it. And he came across and just the, the bile and the, the, the spit that was coming from your mouth, just how you were just so disgusted that my dear lgbtq friend is called anti-semitic and that's what you're being you're a bigot 
you're a bigot and you knew to delete that video right away. So if that video is out there, it would be the day after, it would be the day that the picture was shown of Brian from the Idaho massacre of the, of the college students. Um, and it would be when his picture was coming across the screen. I'd like that. I never did anything. I don't say that stuff. I don't, I don't do all that stuff, play all those games. But I think after, you know, um, I haven't really cared for you for a while because, you know, I just think you're, I just think you're greedy. I think, um, after my situation that I had, Personally, you just took it and you befriended people and played videos and did lives and I did nothing to you but give you a thousand dollars. Gave you a thousand dollars of which you, you thanked in, in the video. And then after you got the thousand dollars, it was, you know, back to Mallory as usual. You are the only way I can think of you, Mallory, and to make it almost more that I can understand it. And then you're the only trans person that I say this about. Is your is the masculineness in your personality? When I think of you as just a cutthroat man, it makes more sense. Now, yes, there can be women who can be bossy and cutthroat. I get it all, but there's a little something different to their energy. With you, there's nothing different to your energy. Also, for what it's worth, you're the only person that I've, a trans person that I've ever thought of as drag queen. Everybody's thought that from the very beginning. Divine, um, drag queen, just have. And, and, and when, like, I liked you and when people liked you, it was just, we don't say that to you because I know that we all knew you were touchy about it, but you, you do these motions with your lips in this over the top way that women don't act. Women don't act that way um are you gonna find one that that does that acts that way then they're acting like a drag queen because you know they may have it down as far as makeup goes that women would never wear but no no that's that's you're a drag queen and you're divine and you have a black greedy heart and I wish you nothing but, uh, anyways, that's it.